Hey guys, this is Ethan, and welcome to another video, and we are back on Minecraft Xbox One Edition. And today we're going to be tour tutori I think tutorial, whatever, tutor, and I said it again, touring, yes, touring, my redstone world, if you can't tell from the background already. But yeah, we're going to be doing a whole redstone-like um, um, world tour, and again, my gamer tag is EthanMaster10, same as my YouTube channel name, make sure you add it if you want to play with me, but yeah, so yeah, um... I don't know if I should do a cake one, but I'm gonna say this. So first is the eye scanner. You look in the eye, just wait. It's like eye scanners. Okay, there we go. Now we all we do is just come through, and yeah. So now, let's go back. Also, we can just, yeah, you saw that. Also, we can just press this button and just go through. If this room wasn't you know just like that, but yeah, the rest on behind this. Oh, I just was on thing. The rest on behind this, the guys, is that you can't really tell. But basically, when I look here, the creeper can sense me. So I'll walk all the way here, he'll step, and this pressure plate will also release the water, which I'm pushing back, so it didn't explode. Sometimes this does explode, so you gotta be careful when not being that close to the creeper. Um, we'll save the best for last, but for now, we're gonna go to the other ones, because some of these do require me to go to survival. For this guy here, he was just a test, so I just got him through there, somehow like that, but yeah, whatever, who cares about you, but anyway, that was kind of me. Anyway, over here is my portal, another portal if you didn't see. So basically all this redstone will turn it on and since you guys don't like you just turn it on if I go to another, just open it. So you go in, you do whatever. It's cause and then you close it. And the reason why you want to do this is because you know you don't like another portal in your house and it keeps making those like demonic sounds. Over here is my trash can. So for example if I kill his chicken and take his remains and I'm like, ew, this is trash, I don't want it. All I need to do actually let me turn my volume down. Cause I don't want my odd game audio louder than um louder than my voice. So you guys can barely hear me. But yeah, all I need to do is gonna throw it in there, and you're gonna hear it click. So, and that means it's gone. So it's in the trash. And the the secret behind here is I forgot my I I forgot my pickaxe. So I'm gonna fly over here and get it so you guys can see. Basically, the rest on behind this is that come over here. Yeah, you can see there's a it's leading to like this lava pit. So yeah, it falls. You throw it in, it falls into the dispenser, which takes it back, and then it'll fall in that lava. It dispenses in that lava. But yeah, this is my little lamp thing. Oh yeah, it's my horse. This is my little lamp thing. So basically, you can see that up there. Let me just show you the redstone up here. It looks like nothing, right? Basically, they're daylight sensors. So basically, if I turn to night, look what happens. And it instantly dispenses the lava. So basically, this is like just for like lighting up places and like for cool projects and stuff like that. You can use this for an adventure map or something like that. But yeah, and if you want to go away, just turn to day, and it'll go back down. So thanks to the daylight sensors. But anyway, oh yeah, I'm just messing with the daylight sensor here. This is my bed. Over here is my mystery box. So basically, the currency for this is pumpkin pie, which is my favorite food in Minecraft. Again, if you didn't know. So what you need to do is you gotta pay 500 pi. One, two, three, four, five, and then you exit out. All you need to do is wait a little bit and open it, and you get a random item. So basically, it's only it's gonna take five pumpkin pie. So all you need to do, you can place it anywhere you want, but anywhere you just leave it. Um, yeah, just open up and you get a random thing, which is kind of cool. So basically, the next thing is my pinata. If it didn't, okay, pinata is broken. Basically, this was like a little thing where you take this kind of new sending stick and you hit him and it'll hit the string and all this candy will come down, but let me just turn that noise off. Anyway, I don't know if this still works, but there was, I have to turn on my, um, what was it, my in-game tool tips, because basically there was like some transparent glitch thing, but if you get to a certain, I put a lever, a lever over there, and if you get to a certain area, there was actually something you could see to actually like, um, Press the lever, but I'm pretty sure they fixed any updates. So let me see if I can get it. Um, I'm pretty sure. That, oh yeah, I did it. Okay, there we go. So you switch that. You see, you gotta switch. It's a place where it's not showing transparent. But yeah, you open that like that. It can be used for a secret room. So basically, yeah, if you're going there by second like that, that's what trash chest so they can like be next to each other. So basically, you come right here and just hit the lever. You guys might want to keep touching your left trigger sometimes, but yeah. This is just a random lava pit, and these were, I was just messing with the new update when the rest of the update came, so I like, threw a bunch of items and see how much it took to get to the thing. When I first built this world, this was my redstone house. Now, yeah, 
It's my last own house. Doesn't really look that good. But it's a house, and it kept me from a dangerous from outside. This is my first redstone creation called the Mob Crusher. I know it's too much redstone. It's like kind of exposed, and you can see everything. It's kind of crappy, but yeah, I've done better projects that you can see around this world. But yeah, over here in my little mu music thing. Oh, turn it off. So basically. How do you guys tell me in the comments, what do you guys like best, Stall or Chirp? Stall is like that jazz groovy music, and Chirp is like Stampy's favorite music, like, I don't know. I used to be a Stampy fanboy, but not anymore, I don't really like him. He got annoying. I liked his older videos better than his newer videos today, so please don't hate on me for saying that. But anyway, all you do is play music, which I like Stall the best, I think. I just like Stall right, right now. I have to check the other music guys, but all you need to do is play it. And it'll trigger the redstone comparator, and it'll just commit that TNT and it'll just blow up. This is just a slime elevator kind of like thing. So basically, all you need to do is press the button, and you come up here, and it'll push you up to whatever room you want, and you now land there. Because if you don't, um, let me just come right here. If you just stand still, it'll just push you back down. But yeah, just say you just all you need to do is just when you come up here, all you need to do is move into whatever room you got, you take whatever you need, and just fall back down, and then bounce. And bounce, and then you'll be good. So let me see. It's a pumpkin pie. This is a little base thing. You just kiss the button. You come in here, and you stay right here. And if you don't want anything to find anything, you just put your chest, or you can sleep here. And yeah, you gotta press this button if you want to access the chest. So you gotta press that, and you can access your chest. You can go to bed if you want, and in the morning, and then you just come out like that. And then you come out here, and if you want to hit it, and you press the button again. But yeah, that's like a little secret base thing. Um, let me see what else to show. So this was basically my village where I made a put a beacon here which gives you haste and because for a lucky block mini game. I like popular MMOs. So basically I did one of the mini games I do, which is Lucky Block Hunger Games, the village, and go around the village and break the lucky blocks with redstone blocks. Have fun, you got your stone pickaxes, you break the lucky blocks. Let me just make sure tile drops is off so this can work. Make sure the lucky block you just break it. And then white items pops up so right there I just got the lucky sword. With all these um, chants. So, yeah, basically. What was that? Okay. I don't know what that was, but let's see if we can get another one. So, yeah, basically, there's random items. Oh, I got another Ender Pearl. I need that for my survival world. But, yeah, let me turn um, tile drops back on. And best, that's basically it. Now, over here. Oh, wait, that's just. This is just my Jeb. All I need to do is name a sheep Jeb underscore. And it'll just be random well like that. But, yeah, over here is my mini potion dispenser. You can put whatever potion in there. It will dispense out, it will hit the end that when you, I put the lever, it will also hit the redstone, which put this blind block up and bounce it and gives it an extra boost. So, and there you go. You see how far it goes? Because in this update, yeah, it's not effective. So, switch that and it bounces up and it lands on that right spot. I have to do the, the math for it. Now, this is my, actually, before I show that, let me show this first. So, this is my TNT disc cannon like thing. So you gotta do all this, and you press the button, and it slides it, and it bounces it all the way to where we need. And you like keep doing it. But the thing is, guys, if you actually made one of this before, I'm pretty sure you guys know about this, but whatever you do, do not spam it, because the more you spam it, it's gonna keep coming, even though slime block is there, and yeah, it's not gonna end well. Um, yeah. I don't know, I just... Ah, it kept sliding across the thing, but I'm like, how did I survive that? But yeah, now this is the more advanced version of it. Basically, all you do is press the button... And a rose of it will come out. And you could, um, yeah, I'll create that little, well, not little, but, like, huge explosion. So, let's come right here. I'll stay in the middle of it. Actually, no. I don't want to die. But, yeah. And basically, I'm pretty sure you guys know what will happen if I spam it, just like last time. Let's spam it then. So, we press this button. Yep, the same thing will happen. It's saying it's on the floor. And for some reason, more will And then the whole thing will self-destruct. I almost died. I only have half a heart. But who cares? Yo, little swag. Okay, let me stop. So the last thing here is actually, let me do this first because the last thing over there, I know I was going to do that second to last, but since I'm so low on health, let me just do it anyway. So I made a golden apple, so I have only half the hunger to go. So basically, this says don't eat. Now, I'm pretty sure if I was in Stampy's world, I place it somewhere far away and just tell them as a surprise. I'm like, here's a cake for you. Make sure you're hungry. But the thing is, it was just, or like, hit the target can set a trap like this. Hit the target can set a trap like this. But yeah, all you do is don't eat. You don't listen, you die. So you take a slice. No. And that's what your punishment. You eat my cake, you die. So don't touch my cake. 
Okay, I got a little too carried away there. But yeah, basically you touch that kick, you blow up. And now this last thing, um, just eat a golden apple for this, and put on my armor back. So basically this last thing is that, what do you think I'm going to spend from this? Well, here's your answer. Nothing in here but a bunch of mobs. And oh, like, there's like old blaze rods, witches, skeletons, um, I'm pretty sure that's it. And zombies. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. And this like, if you're on 360, they'll lag you hardcore. You gotta turn it to peaceful. But yeah, since we're on a, on, um, a much, um, you know, since we're on a much modern version of consoles, we can handle it and stop this fire right now. But yeah. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want more. Um, I will be bringing more more tours if you guys want me to. Also, tell I was in that lava there. Doesn't matter because I have fire resistance on. But yeah, if you want to add me and play with me, add my gamer tag Ethan Master Ten, which is right here. And yeah, guys, I guess I'll see you guys in the, another video. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys all enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.